Hey guys, welcome back to Inchworm Gardens. On today's variety spotlight, we're going to be taking a look at a very unique radish variety that's grown for its seed pods instead of its roots. This is the Dragon's Tail Radish. All right, so as you know, most radishes are grown for their roots. There's a nice little bulb at the bottom. Pluck that out and you can enjoy that part of the radish. You can also eat the radish greens. But the dragon's tail radish, as I mentioned, is grown for its unique seed pods. Now before this plant goes to seed and produces these long purple seed pods, you get these beautiful whitish purple flowers. So this plant really offers a lot. These were the very first flowers of my garden, so I planted these in March. March 5th. It's about been about 10 weeks now and we have these beautiful flowers. They were the first flowers in the garden. The pollinators enjoyed them. And then shortly after we got these nice long seed pods. I've seen these also called red rat's tail radish. And there's also a green variety. Now radishes, um, all radishes can be grown for their seed pods. See, so these radishes too will eventually go to flower, which they're almost doing right now. If you don't pluck them early enough, they go to flower and then they'll produce these small little green squatty seed pods, which you can eat those. They have a nice kind of mild zesty radish flavor, but these are intended to be grown just for the pods. They're tall. This is about a three to four foot plant. They probably would benefit from some staking. Here you can see one of them is leaned over into this neighboring plant. See the pods there. Let me get you another view of the plant itself. So yeah, this is a real nice early variety. You know, it's uh, cold tolerant, so you can plant these when it's still too cold to plant anything else, and you'll get flowers early. They have these nice purple stems. Here's a look at the leaves. Also all edible. Another look at these beautiful flowers. Really, very pretty flowers. And then look at these guys. So these are probably getting a little long. Um, you can harvest them at any stage. If they get a little too long, they will start to get a little bit uh, pithy, a little woody. Um, so I think the ideal time is like five to six inches you would, you would uh, harvest them. Anyway, so we'll pick a couple of these to give you a little taste test. But I thought it was a real neat plant. Let's see, I've never really looked at the roots before. Doesn't look like there's much, yeah, doesn't look like any bulb down there really. But that's fine, you can grow both of them. You get your bulb radish over there, you got your rat tail or dragon's tail radish over here. Best of both worlds. All right, but most importantly, how does this thing taste? Let's try it out. All right, let's first try this big one that we saw in the beginning. Hmm. All right, we'll try the fatter end first. Nice. So it's kind of crispy like a green bean. Ooh, there's the zest. Definitely still got that radish zing. Let's try the other end. Juicy. Radish flavor. Um, that side was, was nicer, a little more mild. Oh, still strong flavor on that. All right, let's try one a little smaller. So this guy's a lot skinnier. Try the both ends. Has more crunch. A little sweeter, a little more mild. Okay, so that makes a big difference. So the smaller ones do taste better. Still a strong radish flavor. You gotta enjoy that flavor to uh, like eating these fresh. I've heard that pickling them is really good. Um, but you could maybe chop them up into small pieces, put them in salads. Probably a lot of uses for them. Maybe sauteed. I, I know if you bake radishes, they definitely mellow out, have a more mild flavor. Maybe you could bake these. But uh, I'm thinking maybe just cutting them up, eating them fresh, and then just snacking on them like this if you like the flavor. Not for everyone, but um, it's cool. I think the plant itself and the flowers, I think, are really the best feature of this plant, personally. Beautiful flowers. 
it's it's neat it's unique it's fun you get a lot of different um, harvests off the same plant normally a radish you pull it up you know you pull it up you get one little bulb which is cool but this you have multiple uh, different pods that you can eat so anyway it's a neat variety check it out that's the dragon's tail radish it's worth growing if you like unique plants all right guys that's it thanks so much for watching this catch you on the next one